So uh, one of the things at Children's Hospital that we really pride ourselves about is our um, animal models of human disease. Uh, we think that uh, some of these models are very important as you move stem cell therapy into the clinic. Um, so in my own lab, we uh, have a number of models of human disease that are zebrafish models. And so we have, um, first of all, found new mutant fish that do not make blood correctly. And then after we've done that, we've found humans that are mutated in the same genes as the fish and thereby uh, finding a new human disease. Uh, that's actually happened three times to us. Um, but also these models are really invaluable because you can treat the fish who has a genetic disease, let's say, and try to cure it from its uh, problem. And uh, so we're very uh, rigorously trying to find new chemicals that can treat disease uh, using our fish. George, maybe you could tell us about the work you've been doing in the mouse. Yeah, it's remarkable how similar uh, not only uh, mice and, are to humans, but as you said, fish. Um, the, uh, the, the commonalities of biology, especially in the blood forming system, make these simple models in, invaluable for our research. So essentially, all of the blood cells that we have in our human bodies are similar in mice. Mm -hmm. So we can study the mice, we can create genetically defined strains of mice that carry the same gene, de gene defects as human disease, uh, sickle cell anemia or various kinds of leukemia, and that gives us a very powerful way of testing the kind of hypotheses we bring to the scientific questions uh, in a mouse model before going into humans. I think also when we take human embryonic stem cells or iPS cells and put them, make them into tissues, um, those tissues will need to be transplanted into some of these models and we'll be able to hopefully uh, um, cure a disease in those models first uh, before we move it into the clinic. Yeah, one of the basic principles of developing new therapies is that you need to have a preclinical evidence, ideally in an animal model, that says your cells are going to work. And so having these specially designed mice that carry human diseases or having these humanized cells with disease uh, really gives us that opportunity to test therapies in the laboratory before subjecting patients to risk.